After years of serving as a side character, Marvel's main speedster, Quicksilver, is finally getting his share of the spotlight in the comic books. Despite no longer being relevant in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, Quicksilver has become one of the principal characters of Avengers No Surrender. Described as one of the biggest Avengers stories ever, in Avengers No. 677, Quicksilver had to step up to the plate to prove himself to his doubters. Though Pietro Maximoff has never reached the popularity of his DC counterpart, The Flash, he has managed to gain a significant fan following since his creation in the X-Men No. 4 in 1964. Fans of the character had reason to be excited when it was announced that Aaron Taylor Johnson had signed on to play Quicksilver in Avengers Age of Ultron. Though his sister Scarlet Witch Elizabeth Olsen has gone on to play a prominent role in the MCU, Quicksilver didn't survive through the end of Age of Ultron. Unfortunately for Quicksilver fans, the character's first MCU movie may also be his last, unless he is miraculously brought back at a later date. At the beginning of Avengers No Surrender, Quicksilver is in a dark place. After his arrogance caused his teammate Synapse to be badly injured, Rogue fired him from the Avengers Unity Squad. When someone kidnapped Earth and heroes all over Earth were stuck in stasis, Quicksilver was among the Avengers called in to deal with the threat. To make matters worse, two teams of supervillains, the Black Order and a new Lethal Legion, arrived on Earth. The Black Order obliterated the Avengers' mansion in a single blast. Quicksilver's super speed allowed him to see it coming, but even he couldn't stop it. Instead of dying in the explosion, the Avengers were teleported away by the mysterious Voyager. This week's issue, Avengers No. 677, dealt with the Avengers' response to the attack. While the rest of the heroes took their time planning their next action, Quicksilver impatiently urged them to strike back. Quicksilver was enraged when he discovered that one of the team's leaders, Rogue, decided she didn't trust him enough to send him into battle. So in typical Quicksilver fashion, Pietro went anyway, as the Lethal Legion defeated the heroes. Quicksilver was left as the last Avenger standing. Alone, Quicksilver managed to hold his own against the Lethal Legion better than the combined forces of Thor and Hercules. However, before Quicksilver could defeat them all, he was suddenly put in stasis at the exact same moment that Vision was freed from stasis by Scarlet Witch. The comic ended with the Lethal Legion attacking the helpless speedster. Quicksilver fans will have to hope the hero somehow manages to survive his encounter with the Lethal Legion in Avengers No. 678. Hopefully, when the dust settles in the current era of Avengers and so a new one can begin, Quicksilver will continue to be an important part of the team's future. The third chapter of Avengers No Surrender, Avengers No. 677, is on sale now.